the time has come. We are going to be utilizing this 1200 watt platinum HP server power supply to power five of these CPU mining rigs. going on everyone rabbit mining here and today i'm going to be powering these with the server power supply that way i can get rid of all these atx psus because i need more atx psus for my test bench and whatnot i've used them all on my cpu mining rigs because i got to do some testing on that 3090 i got to pull my other 3950x rig out of there and bring it over here and that way everything is in one place and then i can start working on gpu testing and whatnot once again for our parts list here we do have these argeek 300 watt picos so i got a box of 10 of them few extras just in case they need spares in case one doesn't work or something it's always a good idea to have spare parts just in case you do need them in the future so we are going to be using this x adapter 4 here from parallel miner links to everything will be in the description below but this will obviously plug into our hp server power supply this is a platinum rated you can see the blue tag does have it it also has nice little feet on it so it sits nice and gentle here so everything's nice and wobbly or not wobbly but nice and good and then we have uh, these two wires here. This is 14 gauge wire. Obviously it'll go in here and we do have a ground side and a positive side and that'll be a red and black depending on what side it goes, which will then roll into this barrel plug, which will plug in to our Pico power right here. Now this is a five millimeter to 2.5 millimeter barrel plug. First couple of things I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna have to pull off all these six pin ends coming out of these plugs we're not going to need them here and then i'm going to have to put our barrel plugs onto the other end here and obviously strip these wires down and get everything into our breakup board so i'm going to get all this stuff prepped and prepared get ready to roll because i'm not going to be turning off any rigs until it's actually time to hook them up the barrel plugs are installed ready to go i still have to take off these six pins here but i want to tell you why i'm only going with five at the moment my plan is to put it on one two three four five and leave this six 3900x in windows and on a normal power supply because it is currently mining chia as well yeah i know about chia it's not that profitable whatever but it's still testing it's a long-term thing so it's something i am doing in the background to keep on testing profitabilities and whatnot on that it's only like 49 to 60 cents per day with 14 terabytes so two hard drives there but again i'm only keeping this one in windows because of that one day hopefully hive os will start adding chia plotting and everything to it and then i will take this gpo and swap that rig into hive os as well but until then i'm only going to be running these five rigs that'll give me five extra power supplies to free up for other uses so i'm going to pull the wires out of these six pin connectors here cut them and then strip them down and have them all ready to roll for our breakout board. I have all the six pins cut off and stripped. So you can see all the wires exposed and everything here. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double check all my connectors. As you know, actually, as you don't know, <laughs> I just tend to say that all the time. There is a positive and a negative on each one. So yellow on the left has to be in the positive and black has to be in the negative because as we've shown you, there is a ground and a positive side here. So yellow here, black here. So I'm gonna go through all my connections, make sure they are correct. And if you do anything like this or something, always double check everything before you do actually hook anything up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Next up here, I am going to test the server power supply as well as the breakout board to see if it's on or off because it doesn't have an actual direction what it's on. It's always the same button length. So I clicked it twice. So now it's the default of whatever it came at. So we're going to see here because I don't want this to be on when I actually plug everything is because if I is and who knows if something's half in before I double and triple check everything that you know you may get shock surge or maybe this doesn't even work. So always test your equipment before you do actually put it into use. So I'm going to plug this in right now. And it looks like it was on. Look at that. So the breakout board was turned on. So we're going to turn that off right now. Off. We're going to let it power out everything does look like it's working everything got its lights and everything i heard the fan spin up in my hand back here so i'm going to let this dis discharge i did turn it off now we're going to plug it right back in again just to make sure it actually stays off so there we go our light is on right there it did not power up so we do know that it does retain its state so i'm going to turn it on just to double check again there we go we can see it's on and working now i'm going to turn it off so this power supply is working as intended. It is good to go. 
Next up is our next step where I start installing our actual Picos. Cancel that. I did get the breakup board already. So here you can see our wiring is in. I put a little bit of zip ties around them. So everything looks kind of nice, neat, and clean. So there they go. This is all set up. Now we will actually shut the rigs down and put our Picos in. So this thing is looking, coming along pretty nice here. Individual strands will go to each Pico going on to each CPU minor rig. So things are looking, coming along pretty nice here, I think. Here's Hive OS, rigs one to six. Again, three is in Windows, so it is missing from this number list. So there's five rigs here shutting down. I turned off the flight sheets first. That way when I do boot back up, it will not just start mining. So we're gonna get into a nice boot into an idle, and then I'll slowly increase the flight sheets and turn them on once I know everything is running nice and stable. Looks like I turned all the right ones off. These three are off. And our two rig one and two at the NHD 15s are off as well. And rig three in Windows is currently running. So now I gotta turn off all the power supplies, pull all the plugs off, rip them right apart, and then get our Picos in. Look at the room under there now. So most of the PSUs are gone except for the one on rig three there. And obviously the one on the other side, which I am using for that 3950X, but the rest are all gone. Look at all our PDU cables are removed. Well, the ones we we're using, obviously. And we're gonna go over the parts here. So look at these extra cables that are no longer in use that were in use. Here's the power supplies, look at this. Three EVGA 750s, two Tough Power 750s. So this is all not being used now. Now remember, each cable uses an X amount. So there's probably five watts in each cable there. Maybe, well, maybe three or something. Uh, each PSU is using a couple watts. Each cable actually uses like one or two watts. We found that out when I was doing GPU tests on my test rig, but yeah, each cable. So there's a lot of power coming off this for total system power. And we're utilizing, we're only gonna be using one of these and one HP server power supply across the rest. So we should be saving a little bit of power long-term as well. And this is a platinum rated PSU. So that'll also help with the power consumption. Okay guys, so it is the moment of truth. We're plugged in, everything's hooked up. I am about to hit the power button and see what does happen here. So find the power switch here and boom, we have power. We are spinning there, spinning there, spinning, spinning, spinning. So everything is spinning nicely and hooked up and working. We're gonna let this go into Hive OS and then see if everything is detected and then we'll slowly turn on our flight sheets and begin mining. Now remember, I did test this out on uh, a 3950X, which averaged about 110 watts. It peaked around 130, 135. These are 3900X CPUs. And with my settings of 3.6 at one volt and non-XMP profile enabled, we do only average about 97 watts per CPU rig, complete rig, that's the motherboard and everything, fan, complete system, absolutely running well mined. So 97 watts per rig. So seeing how we are running a platinum PSU as well as 240 volt, we have 1200 watts here. Now at 200 watts per rig, that'll max out. So we're all being, only gonna be at like maybe 60 to 70% of this PSU. So we may not even hear this thing at all. It's probably gonna be a nice quiet setup as well. I am in Hive OS. Everything is detected but one rig. So rig four is not online. I'm gonna hit a refresh a couple times and then go check. I may have forgot to plug in an ethernet cable. So I'm gonna go see what's going on. We're all online now. I went and checked it out and there's something with the DRAM. The little DRAM light was on. So I just pulled the RAM out, put it back in and we were all good to go. So all five rigs are back online. Time to engage some flight sheets and take a look at what's going on. All up in mining, things are looking pretty good right now. We're gonna give it a few minutes, see how it works out. I'm gonna go over there and check on them, make sure nothing's smoking or on fire. <laughs> Checking out at the wall here. So it looks like we're around 3,755 watts. We lost like 50 watts doing all this as well. I was sitting around 3,800, 3,820 before I should have took a video of it. I totally forgot, but but from watching this every day, I know what I'm at. So it does look like we saved like 50 watts here. So that's pretty insane. Uh, moving over to a efficient PSU, a platinum, as well as getting rid of extra cables and stuff that is not really needed. This is a much better setup. Now look at that. We're only using one cable instead of, you know, five that we're using there. So we saved up four extra cables that I can use for other systems. So that is quite interesting, good stuff. And we have a lot more room on our PDU here. 
you're unaware how this PDU operates, so I have a four bank of C13, and on the back I have three uh, four banks of C13, and then I got uh, separate banks of four here, so each one is on their own breaker of 12 amps, and these are all C, what else, C19s, so yeah, C20 is the male end is the bigger, so I got four banks of C19s here for those big rated PSUs, like the big Octaminer over there that goes to that three-way splitter, so I really like these PDUs that are set up this way. This one is a trip light and I just find it very handy when it comes to all these different attachments and cables that are required when it comes to crypto mining. Yes, there's other ones that are all full C13 that can handle the power, but I just like how, you know, these four banks, these are on eight amp breakers themselves and these are on individual 12. So I, I just like the way this thing does uh, have everything sorted out. So there we have it guys. Everything is looking good. Our Picos are in the back right there. Nothing is touching any metal or anything, so nothing's going to short out. Now, I still got to work on other types of things here because some of these plugs are kind of just hanging out, you know, like that one right there. I kind of want to fix those two because what if they pull apart? That could just be bad news. But they are snapped in fairly tight. But again, I wouldn't really trust it long term. Uh, you know, they might start to slip or vibrations or something. So I might try to find something or 3D print something to put everything kind of together. But that's about it for this one guys thanks for watching everyone please hit that subscribe button thumbs up button as well as bell notification to be notified for future videos i can now utilize one of these psus and start doing some power consumption testing on that 3090 uh founders edition card all right time to get out of here and on to the next video rabbit out i just want to point out it's been about a half an hour and this psu is still nice and cool you can't even hear this thing running so it is dead quiet so right on good stuff everything's running as it should and looking good thank you for watching everyone if you haven't please comment subscribe and like this video as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet i do try to stream every saturday and sunday so stay tuned for more future content